Teachers say they feel left behind by state leaders. It comes after the state Senate unveiled a new budget proposal that doesn't include bigger raises for teachers. Wake up Charlotte's Richard Devay joins us now live outside Hickory Grove Elementary in East Charlotte this morning. And Richard, teachers, teachers are frustrated. Yeah, then you can't help but blame them. Uh, good morning to you. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Teachers in one organization uh, said that this is a pitiful move. Basically, this budget proposal includes tax breaks for people in the state and corporations, but not a big enough pay raise for teachers. If there were ever a time for us to devote like serious additional resources to our public schools, it, be, it, it should be right now. You can't blame teachers like Justin Palmer, too, who's upset at the latest budget proposal from the North Carolina General Assembly. You may remember Governor Cooper called for a 5% average raise for teachers in each of the next two years in his budget proposal. But in this budget proposal, teachers would only receive a 1.5% increase. Last week, state leaders found out that it brought in nearly $2 billion more in tax revenue than expected. But Senate leaders say they're sticking to the $25.72 billion spending cap that they and the House agreed on two weeks ago, which includes lower pay raises for teachers. I think this year it stings a little bit more, that slap in the face, even though we're kind of used to it. It stings more because we've just been through the most difficult school year that probably you know most educators can, can recall. Now, it is important to note this is just another step in the long budget uh, process. There will be more going back and forth, but it does not look like those pay increases will be added to the proposal, at least not now when you listen to Senate Majority Leader Phil Berger. We're live in East Charlotte. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.